The Wyatt Six have been very quiet this week. Obviously, we heard from Uncle Howdy on Raw. We know next week we are getting the eight-person mixed tag team match that's going to be a street fight. This picture, though, is very interesting. This is actually taken from the official WWE.com, obviously the advertisement for next week's Raw and this match. And there's no Nikki Cross advertised in this match at all. Not once do they show a picture of Nikki, except it's all four male members of the group. Are we going to do intergender here for Ivy Nile? I don't think so. I think this match is actually going to build even more towards Ivy Nile versus Nikki Cross. Because I think we need to see Nikki Cross wrestle a singles match still. But it is definitely worth remembering as we build the hype towards Monday in case the Wyatt Six put out cryptic teases and their usual tweets. Just keep it in the back of your mind. For anyone wondering, last week, Sean Ross Sapp announced that Nikki Cross has recently re-signed with the WWE. And while her faction, the Wyatt Six, have been quiet, she hasn't. Posting onto Instagram saying, fear, not the abyss itself, but what may lurk within. Your name will be written in the Book of the Sick next week, we collect. I want to be in the Book of the Sick. I know that probably means death, but I want to be in the Book of the Sick. You know, who doesn't, right? Someone we don't know if they want to be in the Book of the Sick or not is Alexa Bliss, who once again last weekend broke the internet by posting an old photo of herself with simply the caption, Miss Her. Alexa Bliss, is she teasing that this character could be returning or is she teasing that this character is never returning and she will forever miss her? Thoughts in the comments down below. And breaking news as we're recording this video, Nikki Cross has tweeted out this image. Obviously, you see it's her mask with the life is a circle emoji. Obviously, Nikki posting this it makes you wonder about the message she posted before. Fear not the abyss but what lurks within the abyss. And it makes you wonder if there's something trying to break out of Nikki's mask. And that's why it's all shattered. So maybe you should fear what's underneath the mask. Maybe? Now this match for the Wyatt Six, the street fight will take place on Raw, but it will be the season premiere of Monday Night Raw on WWE Week for USA with Raw, NXT and SmackDown being on the same network. If you're not from the US... We still benefit from limited commercial advertisements, so that's a good thing. From a legion of demons to another, The Undertaker, talking on his recent podcast, actually revealed his desire to go into the WWE Hall of Fame again. Undertaker stating that he wants to go into the Hall of Fame alongside other Hall of Famer, Kane, his brother in destruction, I think this is a good idea. Personally, I think The Undertaker deserves every spot you can feel for him inside the Hall of Fame. Kane, the same. Honestly, these characters are part of our lives at this point, if you're a wrestling fan, aren't they? They're so iconic. And I think putting the faction of the Brothers of Destruction into the Hall of Fame just makes a lot of sense. We've done Hall of Fame inductions for people multiple times in the past. Why not Undertaker and Kane? Both definitely deserve it so let's do it let's celebrate their careers while we can it was revealed this week that melina has signed a nostalgia contract with wwe they seem to have changed the wording of that it used to be a legends contract now a nostalgia contract but melina is not the only one victoria has signed a nostalgia contract too this is such great news i, I honestly believe there's a longing for a lot of fans to see victoria back under the WWE banner again. Victoria was so underappreciated for her time. And just watch this video if you want to see how much it means to Victoria. I'm gonna cry, hold on. Uh, I got offered a Legends contract, which is called Nostalgic Contract now. Um, and I'm so ecstatic. I'll be in the videos, I'll have new action figures, you guys. I'm 
WWE family, I love you. Thank you so much for just the love and just support and everything like that. I am so freaking ecstatic. You guys have no idea. Is it just me? But I really think if she took on like a managerial role with Tatum Paxley, that that could be like a dream duo. Jojo would speak for the very first time in a public video about the death of Bray Wyatt and her thoughts on the Wyatt Six. She would talk about the fact that this is emotional for her, how hearing his theme song triggers her into panic attacks. But she did prefix it by saying she supports it 100% and she's pleased for Bo and she knows that Wyndham would want his brother and his family to be successful. She also spoke about the possibility, and it's a possibility that she'd be open to, for actually doing something with the Wyatt Six one day. She also mentioned that Bray Wyatt was one of the greatest minds in professional wrestling and definitely deserves, and she advocated for the idea for Bray Wyatt to go into the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2025. I'd love to see it. The WWE 2K24 Global Superstars Pack is coming out on the 18th of September, two days ahead of schedule. That's really cool. Some very big names included in this, including Jade Cargill, who we've already got a first look at. That's such a cool model. The rest of them, I'm sure, are going to be teased before the 18th. So keep an eye on social media for that. Ah, you know we had to bring it up eventually, didn't you? Odyssey Jones. This story, man, has just been insane this week. Monday, he was removed from the active roster. Yesterday, it was reported that he'd been removed for domestic violence allegations. Later on, Brian Alvarez would say that he had heard that he'd been fired. No confirmation of that until today. With PW Insider reporting that Odyssey Jones has been removed from WWE's internal roster. And as a result is gone from the company. I've seen some people trying to defend this and trying to say, oh, these are allegations. And I agree with you. Allegations are just allegations. But WWE would have done an investigation. They would have asked Odyssey Jones about this. And obviously, whatever the results of that are is how WWE would act. I think what shocks people the most is that Odyssey Jones only just started and was in a storyline. But I wonder if we've already seen the pivot for the storyline as Kofi Kingston came face to face with Gunter. And although I mentioned this on Monday on things you might have missed, I had no idea of the ramifications that was going to come from Odyssey Jones' departure. So from this, this moment right here is important. If Kofi Kingston goes for the world heavyweight title, that would make Xavier Woods jealous. If Xavier Woods is jealous, that surely is the same outcome as him being jealous that Kofi Kingston's got other friends. Hulk Hogan on Impulsive with Logan Paul. What the hell could go wrong here, right? Well, probably one of the dumbest things I've ever heard in my life as Hulk Hogan actually said, if Chris Benoit can do the crap he did and the fans still love him, then basically they forgive anything, including Hulk Hogan. I don't know if Hulk Hogan's been totally forgiven. He still gets booze whenever he does make appearances for WWE on screen. And... Who the hell has forgiven Chris Benoit? People might be able to watch a Chris Benoit match, but that doesn't mean they've forgiven Chris Benoit. What? Hogan has also revealed that he recently signed a new five-year extension with the WWE. Now let's end on a positive note, shall we? Tatum Paxley last night saved by Lyra Valkyria in one of the best TV moments I've seen this year. Absolutely love Tyra back together. Well, now Tatum Paxley has put the head of the Wendy Chu doll on a rat. Because of course she has. <laughs> I love this so much. There you go, some WWE news you might have missed. Let me know all your thoughts, as always, in the comments section down below. Don't forget to join us over on Discord. Link is in the description. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on notifications, you'll never miss an upload. Like the video, share the video, and I'll see you next time. Peace!